Hey, what's up guys? Little Man with a Big Opinion here. <clears throat> so, I've gotten a lot of comments on my rifle build. And those comments, for the most part, I've enjoyed them. I've read through them. It's been one of my more popular videos, but people in the United States like firearms. So this will be a part two to that first video where I <clears throat> talked a lot about uh, what should be your go-to prepping rifle. Uh, <clears throat> the question that I'm answering in this video is someone asked about a similar build. So, I don't remember the names of all of the parts on this rifle. Uh, I mentioned that this rifle was about 600 bucks for me. Prices have gone up. I've owned this rifle for about five years. Um, one of the things that I bought, you know, at a local gun store down in Corpus was my quad rail. Uh, I got it out of his bargain bin for 25 bucks. It fit my rifle. We, you know, the guy installed it for me because he wanted to make sure it fit. Uh, because if it didn't, then, uh, you know, it was one of those we didn't want to walk out and it not work. This guy... I bought off of someone that I play airsoft with. Uh, he had it on an airsoft gun. Uh, he was getting out of airsoft. I bought this guy for five bucks. These things are, you know, between 20 and 40. Uh, <clears throat> and then I didn't personally buy the six hour uh, Romeo 5 sight. It was a Christmas gift, but those are between 120 and 150. So I didn't include that in the price. Uh, and then my flip-up sight, you know, the rifle came with this. It actually didn't come with a flip-up sight. Uh, my rear flip-up sight is actually uh, a Ruger flip-up sight. And it's kind of hard to see. Uh, and I bought that also at a gun show a guy had it just in a pile of stuff and he wanted like five dollars for it it was just random ar parts um and my sling i purchased from another gun show that i don't have here with me but point being i am very cheap not cheap in the sense of I'm buying crap stuff. You know, my foregrip, I've really enjoyed. Uh, my quad rail, I've had no issues with. Uh, it was mostly in the guy's bargain bin. Uh, because he kind of ran. It was a gun store. It was a, you know, outdoor kind of store. But he also bought stuff. And this was something that someone brought in. And he bought it and turned around and resold it. That being said, I have standard charging handle, uh, nothing special on my, uh, you know, release pins to release the upper, uh, no fancy trigger, no fancy magazines. Yeah, one of the comments was saying pro mags are bad. I've never had an issue with pro mags before. Um when I bought this rifle I kind of bought it in a time so actually I've had it since uh, the end of 2015 so it's going on like seven years uh, I bought this rifle in a time when you know gun sales increase around the time of an election and so I was kind of buying anything and everything that I could get my hands on and the pro mags I've never had an issue with them uh, so Breaking down the cost, uh, I went to Palmetto State. I pieced together a rifle. Uh, the grand total for the entire thing to get it to look just like this, except uh, forward grip, was nine fifty. Before you panic with that number, one hundred and sixty of that is a red dot sight. You can remove a red dot sight if you would like to. 
you can buy cheaper red dot sites that still, you know, meet the standards that you need your stuff to be met. But all my handy dandy list, I have the Palmetto State Armory MOE EPT lower bill kit in black. So all of the internal parts for your lower, pistol grip, buffer tube, adjustable uh, stock, all of that, it was $234 normally priced. Now, right now, and I'll get this out of the way, I'm not sponsored by them. I just happened to go to their website. So to have the exact same aesthetic lower that's, you know, Magpul and a little bit nicer, it's actually on sale. 50% off, $119. So you could save yourself $115 right there if you decided to purchase a rifle right now. Um, actually, the Dark Earth and the Desert Tan was $5 less than this. So it was $115. I just I went with a slightly more expensive option and I gave y'all its regular priced option. Which, that brings me into another point. That's the one thing on this list that's marked down. But, you know, people that sell guns are just like mattress stores and car places. They're always doing deals. You can always purchase something for less than what they're normally asking. You wait for the right time and you can get a good deal. And this numbers list of 950 will decrease dramatically. So if you bought this rifle right now, everything on it looked the same. Uh, cut 115 off, that'd be 835 instead of 950. Looking better. Cut off another 150 for the sight. You're looking at like 7, 5, like 690, which is getting pretty darn close to what I spent on this. And we can lower that price even more because I put a stripped lower receiver on there. They're 60 bucks. The one that I have on here is a Anderson Mills. I spent, I think, $49.99 on it when I got it. Uh, but that's the Palmetto State Armory one. Exact same thing, different brand. It's a chunk of metal that houses parts. Now, so that was $59.99, but you can get a blemished one for $49.99. The only thing that a blemished one means is they made something and it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. It's scratched up, uh, the paint didn't stick to it right, and so it's not a perfect product. So they can't sell it um, as a brand new perfect product. And that happens. Sometimes they're in stock, sometimes they're not in stock. But what I can tell you is that can save you 10 bucks right there. <clears throat> Next thing I have on the list, which you could also save another $60, is Palmetto State Armory is running a sale. You know, like I was saying, I just have a standard bolt carrier group, just a, a nitrate. I think it's a nitrate uh, bolt carrier group, but you can buy the bolt carrier group charging handle and 10 P mags for $129. P mags typically run you 10 to $15 a piece anyway. So let's say they're 10 bucks. You're getting a bolt carrier group and a charging handle for $20. Your run of the mill mill spec bolt carrier group, which is what I have in this rifle I spent 50, 60 bucks on it. Never had an issue. Uh, I've purchased extra firing pins because that's typically the first thing that craps out. Uh, but like I said in the past, this rifle has had several thousand rounds go through it. No issues. Have, haven't changed any parts out yet. Uh, <clears throat> next thing I have on there is the complete upper assembly. Now, what I will say is it is a M-lock upper assembly. Uh, I couldn't find one with the short <clears throat> quad rail. 
This one will come out to about here on the rifle. So the last uh, four, four inches of the barrel, which that's something else I never mentioned. It's a standard 16 inch barrel with a standard A2 uh, flash hider, muzzle guard, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I, I pieced the upper together just buying, you know, cheapest and on sale parts at the time when I got it. But that was two ninety nine, and that's getting it in a five five six with a one seven inch one and seven twist. There are cheaper ones. Um, if you're going for you know a pistol length build, you would have to change out the uh, stock option that you're putting on it, which that's going to be a little bit more expensive. But the cheapest upper you could have gotten was two nineteen, and it does everything in a rifle that you wanted to do. Uh, like I mentioned, the Romeo 5 optic on here. It's 168 brand new from SIG. I found the same thing on Amazon for 120 So I just went with a roundabout middle number of 150 uh, Backup iron sight. It's going to run you 10 to 30 bucks. Like I said, you know, mine is a Ruger, so it's probably a twenty or thirty dollar one. The Magpul ones are about thirty bucks. Uh, cheapest ones are ten. Sometimes you can get them for fifteen. That's one of those kind of things that I see no issue with buying out of a giant box from a gun show. I I just don't think that's something that needs to be bought brand new, and it's one of those things performance wise they're gonna do the same thing fold down stay out of the way fold up whether or not I mean buy local buy American if you want to I just don't think that's something that's going to uh, fail you just based off of who made it and how many dollars you put behind it and what logos on it but that's just me uh, the two point sling that I have currently was like 10 bucks. Pretty sure it also came from a bargain bin. Although the most recent thing that I was looking up was slings. And I'm really liking this one. This two point sling. Uh, you know, I can appreciate in the pictures they're even showing, you know, my stock and you know, they show in the pictures the two different primary spots to uh, equip it. So, that's nice. It looks like a decent sling to me. I'd be okay with it. I don't know. I'm looking at getting a new sling. But, this one's 32 I've seen them for 10 bucks. The biggest thing that I would say, and I'll repeat myself from my previous video... Your gun can cost $3,000 or you could be scraping the bottom of the barrel and it costs $600. As long as you know your weapon system and how to operate it, I think that is more important than the value that you put into your firearm. Would I like a Vortex sight? Yes. At some point, would I like to put something on here that's like a two times magnification so it's not just a red dot? Yes. On my 300 Blackout, I've got a, a 1x8 scope because I bought it at a garage sale and it seemed to work just fine. But maybe it, it could end up on this rifle. I don't know yet. But all that being said, if you're buying all of this stuff at full price and you're getting 10 magazines, 950 to recreate this entire rifle. You know, if you logged on your computer right now and purchased this stuff. Then again, if you logged on right now and purchased this stuff, cut off 115 because the uh, lower part kit is on sale. 
knock off some more if you don't want to buy 10 P mags at the same time you get a bulk carrier group. Knock off 160 more if you already have a red dot sight that you can put on a different rifle. Uh, so in today's day and age, take the sight off uh, and drop, you know, the magazine purchase. That's going to drop 220. So 732, 832, about 830 bucks for what you see here which all in all is not a bad price at all for a reliable firearm. It is perfectly acceptable to spend more, get a nicer bolt carrier group that's, you know, a, a nickel boron, uh, get an ambidextrous charging handle and fire selection and uh, mag release. That's perfectly acceptable. Dropping in a, you know, lighter trigger or a binary trigger. Uh, or I've seen people stick to just the regular A2 mil spec stock uh, and that works out as well. The one thing I'm missing from this rifle, uh, and I brought it up in my previous video, is some sort of light. But for myself, I have a ACH helmet. Uh, on that ACH helmet is a headlamp, a very good headlamp. I would say that's a pretty acceptable alternative for a light source. I'll get a light for this at some point, uh, but it's not at the top of my priority list. So if you have any other questions, you know, keep commenting on these kind of videos. Uh, I'd say the person's name that asked the question about this build, but I, I don't remember it. Uh, so hopefully this helped you out. If it did, if it helped any of y'all out, leave a like. If you enjoyed what I'm doing with the channel, then please consider subscribing. And lastly, if you have a friend or family member that would benefit from the discussions that we have in these videos, then share the video with them. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one.